Good morning. The thing that is on my mind this morning is how feeling desperate ruins our personal relationships and it can ruin our businesses as well. I have felt desperate so many times in my business because I'm worried about the loss of revenue. Usually my feeling of desperation starts when I have a client who is ending their contract or I look and I don't see speaking engagements on my calendar or I launch my different workshops and products and I either don't get the revenue that I had anticipated or I have people cancel those engagements and I start to get worried and desperation starts to sneak in. What I've learned over three years of being an entrepreneur is when I lean into my value and reconnect with what I know is true about the high value of the products and services I deliver, and I really embrace the confidence that these offerings are going to find the right people, they always do. I start to get emails from people about opportunities where they're looking for someone with my skill set. I start to book speaking gigs, my workshops fill up, everything turns around because the energy that I am projecting and the energy that I'm moving forward with inside of my business is not one of desperation. I'm not cutting my prices, I'm staying firm in the prices that I charge and the value that I deliver and people feel that. So if you're going through a season in your business where you've seen some clients that are you know off to do other things or the revenue is declining, embrace your value and know that the right clients are looking for you. Keep taking those steps forward and lean into the knowledge that you have amazing service to offer. And the second you start to feel that little niggling of desperation, push it aside, get your mindset right, and you will see very quickly that the clients that you're looking for are going to find you. Owning your value and really digging deep to hold on to your confidence, this is how we rise.